We've always been told to be safe, to play safe. But what does that mean in the backcountry, deep in the mountains, in a winter environment? For me, it means everyone gets to go home at the end of the day. We are gripped by the draw of the experience as we explore the vast playgrounds around us. The temptation of powder snow can feel exceptionally strong at times, the closer you get to it. It's great to follow our desires, but we must remember we are responsible for our own actions. When I head out, I ask myself, does this adventure have 100% of my attention? Have I thought of all the details? Safety means being prepared, and being prepared means being aware of the situations we get ourselves into. More than likely, it's going to be a surprise when adversity strikes. The more we practice our backcountry skills and prepare ourselves, the better we are able to react to the unexpected challenges that come our way. The goal of this episode is to encourage thinking about backcountry safety. How capable and prepared are we? How capable and prepared are the people we ride with? In this day and age of increased connectedness, it can be too easy to feel not far away from home as we head out into our backcountry zones. The reality is, it doesn't take long to get out far. We left Pemby, we drove 35 approximately kilometers up the valley. We lost cell phone range at 20K on our way up. We've unloaded and we've got another 25 something K to go on the Forest Service Road. It's amazing to think how quickly you can get here on your own. I also think it's important to not forget the inherent challenge of terrain and distance covered it took to get here. I'm at my staging spot, the Bark and Frog Lodge, and I'm about to lay out all my essential gear for backcountry survival and safety. So on the table in front of me, I've got my complete kit that I bring into the backcountry with me every day. I've got my tools and ropes, I've got my medical and survival kits, I've got my communication, and then I've got my avalanche gear. I personally have a wilderness first aid certification, and it's just as important to have the stuff as well as know how to use your stuff. This is a great prepackaged first aid kit that Mountain Sweater Snowmobile Magazine puts together. It's a deluxe 71 piece kit includes pretty much everything you need to fix up minor injuries in backcountry. The reason why I carry a couple of bivy sacks is just because it has multi-uses to it. It's basically a thin material that's waterproof, uh, heat shield, and it's durable. So you can build shelters, keep yourself warm in it, multi-uses for it. This is a great pre-packaged survival kit by Survive Outdoors Logger. It includes everything for you to make a shelter, build a fire, and signal rescuers. These are gels and chews and they're great survival items, but they're also really good items to give you that extra boost when you need to get back to the truck after a super deep stuck fest kind of day. This is my fix-it kit. In this kit I carry things like a wood saw to either get kindling for a fire or to cut a tree down to get yourself unstuck. I carry the tools that are essential for general fixings or adjustments on sleds. This is an air shock pump because I rock air shocks from Fox and it doesn't hurt to carry spare parts. A couple of essentials are zap straps and a couple of different kinds of tape. I carry a couple of different ropes as far as lengths and strengths. Examples of use of rope is if you need to tow your buddy's sled up. A wicked item in my kit that I carry is the Frankensled Backcountry 8.4 flashlight. It's an amazing little flashlight that attaches to a GoPro mount on the top of your helmet. It's great for night riding because it actually points in the direction that you want to go, especially when you're climbing up a hill and your headlights of your sled is pointing to the sky. I carry three different types of communication devices. I've got a sat phone, I've got an inReach, and I've got radio. I carry the Iridium Sat Phone 9555 is the model. This thing's awesome because you can actually call for help or call people that you need to communicate with 
and let them know exactly what you need in the back country. The inReach is really good um, to text message and email uh, 160 character uh, messages to people just to let them know you know what is going on and, and you know if you're going to be late because you're stuck or you know don't don't send out help we're all good you know kind of thing. Yes, it has an SOS button, but the search and rescue does not know what they are rescuing to. Are they rescuing to a hurt body or are they rescuing to somebody who is lost in the backcountry? They don't, they won't know what to bring you. Uh, another cool thing about the inReach is that it can track you throughout the um, throughout the day and people can watch you travel through the backcountry online if, uh, if need be, which is really rad. So I carry a good radio with an external mic just for easy access that's attached to my backpack. With this setup, I find that I use it a lot more uh, just because it's so easy access. It allows me to keep tabs on the group as we're traveling through the backcountry and it also allows me to notify the group behind me for punching trail into zone to either go left or right because left is a no-no zone. This is my Abbey kit and snow science tools. I am certified operations level one and working slowly towards my operations level two. And I uh, teach AST1s uh, every year, snowmobile specific. My avalanche safety gear consists of my transceiver, my probe, my shovel, and my airbag. I carry snow science tools because I'm constantly observing snow and digging pits. It's important as a guide to log everything you have in your information book, just to be able to look back on it and make sure that you're making safe decisions. All this gear is essential when you're going out snowmobiling in the backcountry, but by far the most important thing is to know how to use it all properly. Being prepared means equipping yourself with the right gear and skills essential to backcountry survival and problem solving.